Hey friends, I'm James, your vet technician on the front lines. I love this job, but it can be hard as all get out. For example, I used to really struggle when presenting treatment plans. Back when I first started, I had some big hurdles. When it was time to talk about money with a client, I would freeze up. I'd even panic sometimes. Ah! Money's always been a tough subject for me. How much was it? <laughs> I used to be scared that clients would think I was being pushy. So instead, I said nothing at all. Literally, not a word. I'd slink into the exam room with my treatment plan, slide it timidly across the table to the client. You'd think I was brokering a hostage release or something. Okay, five million dollars in a pizza box. Yep, okay, we'll take care of it. Then, I tried to go invisible as I waited for them to make the first move. I answered questions with zero enthusiasm. I even withheld important information and opinions. And you know what? That was my MO for years. So here's the event that finally opened my eyes. My patient Jones was a great dog, but poor old guy had arthritis. The doctor made recommendations to help ease Jones's pain. And it was my job to share these with Jones's mom. But when I tried to present the treatment plan to her, I froze up. And I didn't even explain the options that would potentially give Jones years of relief. And because of this, the client chose nothing. And Jones walked out in pain. I finally understood what I hadn't before. He couldn't talk. So it was my responsibility to advocate for him. The upshot? That day, I made a change. Going forward, I would stand up for every patient and I would explain all the options and I would even share success stories. I stopped making it about me. Newsflash, it never was anyways. So, sounds great, right? But how did I do it? It all comes down to a formula I call PICKLE. Pickles, pickles. It may sound silly, but this acronym has really helped me a lot. So let's check out the five steps of pickle. Pride, inform, confidence, knowledge, and learn to empathize. I take pride in my practice. We offer important services, cutting edge medicine and state of the art technology. We're staffed with specialists and medical professionals we have the best of the best. When presenting a treatment plan, I inform my client of their options right away. I explain everything before they look at the bottom line. If I don't and they go right to the price, not good. I had to change how I entered the exam room. It's important to really nail that first impression. So I walk in smiling, I make eye contact, and I speak with authority, because I know what I'm talking about. That client needs to see me as confident, knowledgeable, and trustworthy. After Jones, I learned all the ins and outs and details. My ability to answer the client's questions with confidence, that builds their trust in me. Empathies about putting yourself in your client's shoes. And when presenting a treatment plan, you need truckloads of the stuff. <laughs> clients are faced with hard decisions about their pets. Empathies about being supportive. It's treating their pet as you would treat your own. Let's dance. Let's dance. So, before you walk into that exam room, think pickle. The five steps to delivering a treatment plan like a pro. This one's for you, Jones. <laughs>